the bow's very nearly there now. I've been cleaning off the bloom off the back of the bamboo. You can see the difference here, that's where it's not cleaned off. That's where it's cleaned. I've been shaping and polishing the knocks. And what I do is I get it braced and draw where the string's trying to sit in the knock and then clean it up so that it sits how I want it to sit. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've changed the string but one with much tighter knocks so I can see how it sits nicely. I've also been peering along the length of the bow and sort of making sure it blends in nicely where the taper kicks in. Looks a little bit fatter at that lower limb but there again lower limbs often are fatter. What I'll do is I'll put that string on it and let you have a look. So there we are. That string is now sitting a bit deeper in the knock and coming around nicer. You can still see it's you know slightly towards this edge but it's a sitting relatively smooth and the thing you have to remember is as the bow's drawn the string swings out like this so you've got to fare away this area sometimes I see knocks cut with just a single slot here and you think the string's just going to chafe as it works back and forth as the bow's drawn you know it's at these little details and again looking looking straight at it it's fairly symmetrical it's the other thing some um, societies define an English longbow as only having a single curve on the limb when braced well if you look down that it's arguable is there a whisker of reflex still showing so I might possibly ease it off a tad but it's very you know very subtle I think it's probably good and again if you look down the bow if you look at it like this and rotate it you can see the angle of the back as I rotate and there's a little bit of wibble and wobble here and there sort of mid limb there but it's relatively nice it was trying to go a bit sideways at one point I don't know if you can really appreciate that I think it shows up there you can see the backs let's have a look get my eye down the backs at a slight angle slightly higher on the right of it, edge but it doesn't look like it's trying to bend sideways that cat's making a row isn't she but with a, a laminate made out of just machined slats of timber they'd be dead flat and you probably wouldn't get so much of a problem but this bamboo, bamboo's curved anyway and this bit had some natural strangeness going on let's look at it on the tiller now right she's pretty much at full brace height now uh, I don't know if you can see it but um, that distance there is a little bit more than that distance there which is what you'd expect the left limb lower limb is slightly stiffer uh, some of that has come about just through the tillowing process and also trying to ease out this little bit of reflex so that it's a single curve when braced I'm not that fast really because it's probably not going to get shot in a GNAS competition but um, let's see how she pulled I'd imagine the last time on the till I think it was 80 at 26 I'd imagine we're getting pretty close to 80 at 28 now hopefully I'm out of camera shot yeah re reflex isn't really pulling out but um, it's, exercising. it's looking quite a nice shape, isn't it? So if we're, if I'm short of draw, I'll ease off those reflex edges slightly. Eighty at twenty-seven. Yeah, I mean that's that's what we call near as damn it is to swearing. So yeah, I might take a few scrapes here and a few scrapes there but we're 99.9% .9 done that's full brace you've seen it 80 at 27 so I've just got 
just give you an idea what I've got to fiddle with in theory. So 80 divided by 27, we're looking at 2.96, so you're looking at three pounds per inch. So I could lose three pounds of draw weight and hit my 80 at 28 target. So I've got room to do a bit of scraping, you know, uh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be what we're looking for. But now's the chance to, you know, make it look pretty. There are some nice bits on it, like where some of that rot, uh, sapwood and discoloration, sorry, it wasn't rot, was it? No, no. Sapwood and discoloration was in the U. That's now showing between the bamboo and the U and gives some nice little sort of highlights. The horn locks are looking a bit prettier now. Don't know if you can see them, that's a lower knock that's been polished up. Uh, and the bamboo, once I've cleaned it all up, that'll look nice. All I need to do then is manage to draw it. I can't get very close. I can sort of get reasonable at the minute. Yeah, I mean, that arm's still bent, but without an arrow on it and not being outdoors, I, can, I can't really get myself into it. And I haven't warmed up, which is very silly. That's enough for now.